Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and this is part two of my thrift haul that I shared the other day. The other day I shared the jewelry from the flea market and these items are from a consignment shop, flea market, and thrift store. So I'm sharing this crock with you. This actually was a gift that I gave my mother-in-law but I just thought it was too cool to not share. It's got a lid and you can just replace the spout and I thought it was really nice looking especially with that crown stamp. I went to a thrift store and they were 20% off and then an extra 50% off of Christmas. And I picked up a few treasures. This little pill box was $3. I want to put it out with my Christmas display next year. I picked up that little brass birdhouse. And I also think that birds remind me of the Victorian era. They would have them as pets. They would even taxidermy them. They would be found in motifs on fabric and wallpaper. So this, in nice shape, it's got a green rhinestone eye. I know it's dark in here because it's been rainy for like three days. And it's just, it's just so cute. It can just tuck in anywhere. And it's a little box. And there's a magnet with this little tong. And I thought, what in the world would you use that for? And uh, I I just thought it was so cool. And then when I got it home, I did realize that it's marked there. So I looked at that and it says Florenza. And when I Googled that, it said, it called this a little pill box. So it said a Florenza pill bird box. Then going along with, um, not exactly Christmas, but that's what I picked it up for. I found these leather match box books. And they're the perfect colors for Christmas. So these were a dollar a piece. And I could turn them into anything. But since I've been liking this idea of displaying books for Christmas, and I have one green one and I have a few red ones, I thought that would be perfect. I probably paid a dollar or two for these knobs. And I love these glass knobs. I have used them on so many projects and I don't have any left. So I was so happy to find them because I haven't seen them in a while. And they're a smaller size. If you are making an assemblage uh, or just like some type of interesting box, this can work perfectly. Just glue on the glue it on without the hardware so it can be a little knob for a topper. Or they also take the silver or the hardware off and they can sit like this and if you had four they make perfect feet to elevate something i found this green glass ornament for 50 cents and i love the ornaments that have the glitter on them i don't know if they were sold that way or if people added that it's always a nice idea and this one has uh no paint loss in nice shape I didn't think that I'd be stocking up for presents for next year, but this was such a nice deal. It's this box from Macy's, and you can see that the original price was $100. And it's a brand new cultured pearl necklace with sterling silver. And uh, we got some post earrings, just really pretty and classic. I think that'd be a really nice gift. We actually had a set um, at our church Christmas Bazaar this year, everybody looked at it and it got picked up right away. It was $12. So it was originally 15 and then I got 20% off. I went to look at this purse and uh, it wound up being $4. I wouldn't have purchased it, but when I opened the purse up and I saw this little tag in there and then I pulled it out I just had to have it because I cannot resist things that come with notes, especially vintage Christmas tags. And this one says maple. The small purse is made of kangaroo hide. And then I guess signed from her friend. <laughs> so um, I normally pick up things that have a little bit more bling to them, but I might um, put some of my pins on this and then I'll add that to my purse wall. It's very small. I don't know if that's kangaroo though. At the same store that I found that crock, I also found this lamp for an unbelievable price. It was only $6 and it hadn't been at the store very long either. When I put it up on the counter, uh, people were eyeing it up and asking about it. And thank goodness, you know, the lady said, no, nope, that someone's someone just resting it there while they continue to shop. <laughs> so it's got this nice brass bottom to it. And the funny thing is on my 
wish list slash project list, I would like to make a red and white striped lampshade cover. And I think it's really funny that I found a black and white one. And this one is paper. So let me turn the light off to see if you can see a little bit better. It's this paper shade that maybe appears to be hand painted, but also maybe not. I'm not quite sure. Like, are those pencil lines maybe? I don't know. And it's got this nice black finial and the fact that it's got this neutral base to it. I was just going to get it for the shade and then I said, I like the whole thing. So I've added it here in the guest room and because I'm just trying to create as much light as possible and not have to have the overhead fan on. So I've got a light here now. I'll pan you up slowly. I've got a light there that's not on. Maybe I should turn that on. So I've got the new lamp. Then I moved this one over here because I still love it. And when I sit at this desk and I'm making art, I, um, even with the overhead light on, still need more light in this room. It's back of the house. It's just dark. And then we've got that one on. And then if you had watched my previous video, I also got these lights at Joann's that I added. So hopefully all of that will brighten this room up when I am filming and when I'm creating. There was also this little marble book. I think I paid about $5 for this, but it was so unique. I've never seen anything like this. But isn't that just funny that the lamp was six and this little marble book was $5. But I picked this up. Um, I think it goes with my aesthetic well. I think it's very unique. Just have to get the price tag off. And I also picked this up because I just got introduced to this magazine Loving Brocante, it even describes it as vintage and shabby chic interior decorating, and I'm a shabby chic person. And I just was trying to think about things that I could find to recreate the feel or look of the decorations in this book. And when I saw this, it reminded me of that little scene there with those white books in the back, and I thought this would look so nice anywhere. Um, in this room, Christmas time, my daughter's room, to start to um, create a lot of the, the feeling and the mood. I just think these pictures are just very beautiful and inspiring. So next on my list, and I know where to get it, is a little dome. Oh my goodness. So this magazine, I believe, is current. It says it's number four from 2021. And I found it, well, my friend told me about it. And then I found it on eBay, I think. And I'm pretty sure they have it on Etsy as well. I haven't even looked at it besides the pictures she sent me that convinced me to buy it. And right now, and I just, it's, this is unbelievable. Okay. I'm currently working on this tree and I really haven't made much progress, I think, from the last time I shared it, but it's got the shabby velvet ribbon. I've got the little monogram and I added this little bunny here and the washer is just so it sits straight, but I thought that that was a nice look there. And I'm probably going to keep this very simple. I do have a little crown or maybe um, a piece of jewelry that I'll add to this. But I just, I thought that was somewhat inspired by that magazine. I picked up two more of these small domes. I just love the look and the metal. And I think they're such a high quality and I only spent $3 a piece. And I feel like this is also something that I would see a lot of in that magazine. I found this for $5 and I'm really happy because the other ones that I have picked up have been in very poor condition. I'm not crazy about the colors. It's like rainbow colored. So I think I'm just gonna paint it um, black and just simplify it. And I think that'll be really nice. I could probably do some type of light inside that can shine down. And for $5, I was very happy to find this because it's marked Germany. And the main set that I put in the living room um, that I got at an estate sale is right from the turn of the century. And it's all marked Germany on the bottom. So I love the fact that I'll be able to put something that's probably very similar time periods together. I'd like to add a shelf in the kitchen and replace the copper plant 
holder that I have. So the prices were right on these two that I picked up. This one was only $3 at the flea market. And the color is very, very similar to the secretary. I just think this one's a little bit shinier. And uh, I, I liked it because it has this little groove for a plate rack. So I could even display a plate in the kitchen. Uh, and the size will be right. I just have to see if it's um, going to work for what I want, which it might. I don't know if I need something that's deeper. But for $3, I took a chance. And if I put it in the kitchen, I will change the color. And if I keep it in here, I'll probably keep it the same. And then I found this, and this one was only $5.25, and it's definitely older. It's got a little bit of silver loss at the top, and this molding up here. Again, I don't even mind the color. Just such a neat piece. And the back, the back says it all. It's got some wood nailed in. It's got hangers. The other one has hangers as well. I don't know how much a new shelf costs, but for $8.25, I found two. So that's everything that I found. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in another video.